Hello, my name is Callum Brown, and I am going to be reading the book Coyote. It is about a blue coyote that wants to do something, everything that other people do. He's basically not happy with his life of what he could do. But he could do a lot of fun things. Let's begin. For JC, Joshua, and Alvin. Coyote, Blue Coyote. He was going along following his nose. He had a nose for trouble. Coyote stuck his nose into Badger's hole, but got bitten. Coyote wanted to have a flaming red head like Woodpecker, but his fur caught fire. Coyote went looking for a snake, but only found trouble. Coyote was always in trouble. Coyote came to a place where earth meets sky. Um, he heard laughing and singing. He went up to take a look. Coyote saw a flock of crows. They were chanting. They were dancing. Then the birds spreaded their wings. They flew through the air and circled the canyon. Oh, if I could only fly, said Coyote. I would be the greatest coyote in the whole entire world, said Coyote. Coyote called to the crows, let me join you, he said. This foolish coyote wants to be like us, old man crow said to his flock, let's have some fun with him. Old man crow turned one eye toward coyote, you may dance with us, he said. Thank you, thank you, said Coyote. But I want to fly too. Maybe you can, said Old Man Crow. Old Man Crow plucked a feather from his left wing. He told his flock to do the same. They stuck the feathers in Coyote. Coyote winced. His nose twitched. The crows chuckled. You are ready to fly, said Old Man Crow. The birds began their slow, steady chant. They hopped 
from one foot to the other. Coyote joined in the dance. Even dance. Even they though he got of got out of step and sang out of tune, he was very proud of himself. The crows spreaded their wings and soared into the sky. Coyote followed his flight, was jerky. He tilted to one side since his feathers were only from the left wing of each bird. He was off balance. He fell to the ground. Wait, he cried out. Don't leave me behind. The birds returned and gathered round Coyote. We must balance him, said Old Man Crow. This, I'm sorry, I missed the picture to show you all. This. Um, Coyote trying to fly wings so that got plucked on his arms for some reason. Funny fiction. And this is the page I already read. Sorry. That's Coyote on the ground right there. Okay. He blends in, kind of. Now I'm perfect, said Coyote. I can fly as well as the rest of you. Coyote had become rude and bossful. He danced out of step. He sang off key. The crows were no longer having fun. Him being like happy and showing off, and yeah, and that's all the crows. You can see they're frowning. Look, wait, let's see, all of them are frowning. Like, look mad. Yeah. It's kind of cool how the, the birds again began their slow, steady chant. Coyote hopped along, flapping his feathered legs and singing sour notes. The dancers spreaded their wings and leaped into the air. Soon the crows were flying high over the canyon. Coyote struggled to keep up. Carry me, he demanded. Got his. Yeah. Guess kind of. Kind of got some mad yellow eyes right there. And then they are like way above him. See that? So that's what he gets for being so demanding and hateful. Um, okay. This is a good part. The crows circled Coyote, but didn't carry him. Instead, they took back their feathers one by one. Coyote sang through the air. He fell straight down. There's all them circling around him, taking off his feathers. And there's him hanging down, and he's falling real fast. So. He better be careful about what he says next time. Ooh, ooh. He howled. Coyote fell so fast, his tail caught on fire. He fell into a pool on the Mesa. Ugh. See his tail is on fire. Yeah. And then there's just blank over here. Pretty co cool colors right there, though. See, that's where he fell into. Yeah, we made that because he's lucky he made it into a pool. And then, yeah. 
coyote crawled out of the water. He heard a laugh ladder and he saw the crows flying away. Coyote ran after him. He tripped and fell, tumbling in the dirt. And as well, there he was being stupid again, trying to chase the burnt him. See? Got those yellow eyes again, and then they're all the way up there again. Funny picture, huh? Coyote went home soaked and covered with dust. To this day, he is the color of dust. To this day, his tail has a burnt black tip. To this day, Coyote still follows his nose. He has a nose for trouble. He always finds it. There he is, covered with dust because all that stuff you see is yellow eyes again. He's mad, sad, and there. Black burnt tip tail. Look, this is so funny. His tongue is like stuck, sticked out. Yeah, it's funny. So. you liked that book. If you did, maybe you could read it sometimes. But if you didn't, it's okay. Hope you have a great time. Let's talk a little more about the story. Um, I kind of liked at the end like the end when um he got covered in all that stuff. It, it was pretty funny. Um it is fiction if you could if you notice that. Um they this person is a really, really good artist. Like the pictures are cool. I like them. Um it is a really good book. If I hope you liked it, but um, I loved it, so um, I loved reading it, and hope you have a great time. Uh, well, that's it. So thanks for listening, and well, yes, I'll see you next time. Bye.